At this point, we can actually begin to play the guitar. We'll start by concentrating on the right hand. In classical guitar technique, each finger of the right hand is given a letter name. The thumb is given the letter name P, index finger I, middle finger M, and ring finger, or annular finger, A. The pinky isn't used. So we use the three right, right hand fingers and the thumb, and the pinky simply hangs relaxed, it's not actually used. We're going to just use the thumb at this point and concentrate on actually developing a proper right hand technique but with the use of the thumb. The natural motion of the thumb is actually a circular motion. So we're going to apply that motion on the guitar. So pick up your guitar and sit in the correct posture, as we've talked about before, sitting up straight, guitar supported to four points, and place your hand on the guitar. Your fingers will be placed on the three upper strings. The index finger will be placed on the third string. The middle finger will be placed on the second string. And the A finger will be placed on the first string. Now when you place them on the strings, place them on the left-hand side of the finger. In other words, that side of the finger. So you'll have a the fingers will be pointed slightly towards the bridge. And then your thumb, you can simply rest on your sixth string. If you look at your hands then, you'll notice that it creates a V shape at this point. So your finger is pointing slightly towards the bridge, resting on the left-hand side, and your thumb out from the index finger. In practicing with the thumb, we're going to use the three lower bass strings. The sixth string open, E. The fifth string open, A. And the fourth string open, D. As we do these exercises, your right hand fingers, again, will be planted on, on the three upper strings. The reason for that is to create the habit of a proper right hand position. If your fingers aren't planted and you're just using your thumb, you may get into actually all kinds of strange contortions. So by keeping your fingers in a plain position, even though you're not actually using them, you're developing uh, a habit of correct right hand posture. So the thumb, as I mentioned before, works in a circular pattern. So we'll apply that to the guitar. And if you watch my thumb, you'll notice that as I pluck the string, it goes down. And then the return is actually a circular motion. At the beginning, you might want to uh, exaggerate that a bit, just to really get used to that circular feel. Later, as your technique develops, that will get refined. It won't be quite such a big motion. But at the beginning, just to make sure, just to get the thumb very limber, you might actually want to exaggerate that slightly. As you're playing these exercises, also be careful that the guitar isn't supported with the left hand. At this point, we're not using the left hand at all, so you can simply let it hang relaxed. So if you look at study number one, you'll see that we use, first of all, the E string, six. Then we go to the A string, fifth string, and then the D string. And those are the only three notes that we'll be using. As far as note values are concerned, we have half notes, the beginning for the first four bars. We go into quarter notes, 
and then the final bar is a whole note. So let me play through the exercise, counting along with it. So I'll actually count the four beats as I play through the entire exercise, and you can actually hear the, um, the proper note values. One, two, three, four. 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 Play the exercise again. This time, I'll just count the first four beats, but I won't count throughout the entire exercise. If you want, you could watch my right hand, and again, notice that circular pattern. Although, one thing to keep in mind is that that circular pattern, in its full extent, only exists really when you're playing the same string. It would be senseless to actually make the entire return if you're going down to the next string. So you'd see if I went from one string to the next, there wouldn't be quite that same motion. But on my return from the fourth string, if I was returning to the sixth string, there would actually be that circular motion back to the six. So study number one. One, two, three, four. play it once more, and this time, if you're playing along, be careful to check that your right hand fingers are remaining planted on the strings. The tendency is for the fingers to actually jump up as you play. They have um, this tendency not to want to remain planted near the strings. So put part of your attention on your fingers just to make sure that they're actually sitting on the strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, 